Now the masked magician will turn one of his assistants into the strongest woman on earth, the Lady of Steel. You've probably noticed she's already got abs of steel, so that's not the trick. In order to transform flesh and blood into solid steel, he must first hypnotize her. She fixes her eyes on the crystal pendant. I bet you didn't know that our magician was also a master hypnotist. It looks like she's fallen under his spell. Suddenly her body goes limp. The magician is now in complete control of her mind and body. She appears lifeless and weak. But not for long. He commands her arm to rise. I told you he was in control of her body. Then he uses his magical powers to infuse her with superhuman strength. Amazingly, her arm is now capable of supporting his entire weight. He repeats the process with her other arm. I wonder if this is how Supergirl got her start. Again, he uses her arm to lift himself off the ground. He makes sure that she's still in a deep trance. Then he calls for his other assistants. They climb up the ladders and get ready to put the Lady of Steel to the ultimate test. It seems impossible, but she is now supporting more than 200 pounds on top of her arms. Is this really the world's strongest woman? Don't bet on it. How did he do it? This trick is done with a little sleight of hand and a lot of help from this ordinary looking chair. As for the magician's incredible hypnotic powers, he has none. But you probably knew that. Now, here's what you didn't know. While it looks like he's turning his assistant into a lady of steel, he's only doing this to block your view. This is so you won't see him secretly pulling out metal bars that are hidden in the back of the chair. This is what it looks like without the assistant. Here's something else you didn't know. The chair is actually made of welded steel. It's painted to look like wood. It's also bolted to the ground, so it can't move. Although it appears that the assistants are climbing out onto her arms, they are actually standing on the metal bars. This requires excellent balance and coordination. Meanwhile, Our Lady of Steel must keep her arms perfectly still so the audience can't see the bars. And that's how it's done.